Hello guys, the DV Grande here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have GG Jibriel XD versus Grand Lamb, and this is going to be a post Dune replay. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Jib's Twitch link down below at the very top of the description if you want to go ahead and watch him, maybe test post Dune, and then we're going to see Grand Lamb win the rock paper scissors shoot and decide to go first 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have the Noble Arms Museum Imperm Ogre or Ogier. Uh, dolphin and then connector. Oh god, I, I every time connector and aqua dolphin are in a deck, you just know like that deck's just gotta be toxic. Then they have emergency, uh, rescue ace preventer, rescue ace turbulence, moonlit, and turbulence. I actually tested against this deck for like an hour and a half yesterday, so I have a pretty good idea of what rescue ace does. Um, so they're gonna start with emergency to try to go ahead and special summon and then discard one from hand. I guess tribute one from hand. Does it matter if it's tribute or discard? Maybe. Maybe, maybe there's actually something that makes that matter. But bring out Hydrant, and then they're going to go ahead and tribute the Turbulence from hand. It sucks that they drew two. Most people only play two. And then they're going to go Hydrant effect. And then Hydrant's going to go search for a monster now. Grab Airlifter. And then normal Airlifter effect to try to go search a Rescue Ace spell, which you normally grabs the field spell. Actually, uh... Yeah, I feel like this just always grabs the field spell. Almost always, at least. Um, well, no, I guess I guess normally it grabs emergency, but since they already went through that, they grab the field spell. And that can give them, like, a free draw later on. Summon for Venter by Banishing. This is the Book of Moon. And then also, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you target one of your Rescue Ace monsters, except for a level 8 and special it. And this isn't level 8. This is level 9. So they're going to go ahead and link those off into a Sunlight Wolf. And then activate Preventer, summon back out Turbulence. And then a wolf effect, add back the airlifter, activate turbulence effect, chain imprim on that. And sadly, they don't have any way to dodge that. Emergency is usually how you would try to do that. Uh, so nothing to dodge that. So they don't get the set four from deck, which is just bonkers, by the way. This card sets four. And that's not even its only effect. Like, you could summon it from the hand. It sets four. And if one of their cards leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, boom, you get to pop a card on the field. Like... I don't know, I just feel like, it, giving it that last effect is just like, why? It already it, it already does so much. Uh, then they're going to link off, go into an IP, turn those into a heat soul. Okay, I can't lie. This is uh, this is the most I've seen this deck do turn one when it comes to like actual like combos outside of its engine. I guess, I mean, it, it really just is the engine, but, you know, I haven't seen like this kind of line yet. Heat soul, draw on the hydrant. And then pass turn, they draw Revolution Synchron. Holy, we need to go over this card. So this card says, if you would synchro summon a Power Tool Synchro Monster or a level 7 or a level 8 Dragon Synchro Monster, this card in your hand can be used as material. Um, then it says, you can only use uh, this effect of Revolution Synchron once per turn. If this card is in your graveyard, you control a level 7 or higher Synchro Monster. You can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, special summon it, and if you do, its level becomes 1. You can only use the effect of this once per duel. So, it's like Glow Up Bulb, but it also is good in the hand. It's also searchable off tuning. It's like, if Glow Up Bulb doesn't come back, I don't know what. Because like this is just uh, like a, a better Glow Up Bulb, right? By like 10. Um, but it's such a good card. Such a good card. We're going to see a lot of people try that card out in a lot of different decks. Heat Soul, pay a thousand, draw an instant fusion. Okay, okay. I don't know what they're going for with this, but I would love to see the goo. Uh, it sadly seems like uh, we will not end up getting to see the goo, though, because, I mean, I guess all they have is they have Airlifter. Um, so they contribute this to summon a Rescue Ace from hand, which can summon out Turbulence, but then Turbulence doesn't really do anything. I guess maybe if they try to pop Heat Soul, you can like chain some of this, and then they get this to pop. I think that's the only way that'll actually matter. Yeah, so they just submit the feet. They say, "Low deck is bad. I greeted, but I agree. Um, yeah, the deck's a little bit weird, but, you know, to be fair, deck's really new. Not a lot of people have tried it yet, so... I gotta give it a little bit more time. We got Phoenix Blade, Rota, Museum, Heritage, OGR. They have Moonlit, Impulse, Nib, Prosperity Alert. Oh, also, I didn't go over this card last time because I don't even know what this card does. Uh, Fire Warrior Monsters you control gain 500 attack. Okay, I hate that every field spell just has this effect now. Stop it with this effect. I, it's just so good. It's just like an extra effect that's not needed. 
This says once per turn you can pay 1,200 life points, add one Noble Arms card from the deck to the hand except for one of the Noble Arms Museum. Okay, that's fair. This says once per turn, if this effect was applied, this turn you can target one Noble Knight monster in your spell and trap zone special summon it. Also, if you do not control it, Inferable Knight, oh, I can't even, I actually can't read right now. I literally can't do it. If you do not control the Synchro 9, the Charles, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except for Warriors. Holy reading the last, like, week has just been bad. I mean, reading in general has been bad, but reading the last week has been bad, bad. Like, I can't even do it. But they're going to go ahead and banish Venom, Predoplant, the Draco, Appalooza, Amirage, and Proxy. This card has gone up in price because a lot of people are talking about playing this card. Um, I mean, it's just like Polly on the field. But, like, or I, I guess I should say more Fusion sub because it can only use stuff on the field. Uh, its other effect is decent. It doesn't really come up right now. Uh, then they're gonna go ahead banish six. Okay. Um, none of their cards in hand are actually starters, so they're probably just gonna grab Rota there. Yeah, I was gonna say I, don't, I doubt you'd grab anything else. And Impulse is also a really good hand trap because unlike the other one, this one special is from deck, not from hand. So this one's a lot more free, but it's also not a good normal summon, well, compared to the other one. Activate Rota, Rota go search, Rota go grab the airlifter, and then we can go normal summon, effect, go grab emergency, activate emergency, and then emergency is going to go ahead, special summon, and then send the airlifter, and then we're going to activate the hydrant effect, hydrant, go search out turbulence, summon turbulence by banishing two from the graveyard, and then activate the effect to go set. You see right here, when you don't have the hand trap for turbulence, or if they're able to hold emergency to play around imperm, that's when it gets scary. Because this right here, the whole set four from deck, is crazy. Because we just set emergency. This is the special summon. Um, also, you can banish it from the graveyard to like reset one of the traps, which is kind of cool. You have contain. This is the imperm. Also, it makes us that way. It cannot be used for like a fusion synchro X Y Z or link summon, um, as long as you have hydrant. Uh, rescue is a add back or a shark cannon if you have the hydrant. Um, so being able to like shark cannon the opponent's monsters, it only can special summon though, it doesn't let you banish it. Uh, and then reinforce this one lets you gain 15, and then it's unaffected by opponent's monster effects. And the next time you destroy by battle, it is not. And then this also has the effect, uh, graveyard effect. You can banish it from the graveyard, target one rescue ace spell, and set it. So it's like the opposite of the emergency. But, so I mean, it's a lot of follow up. Um,. And then it's like a lot of just instant free cards. Like, we're, we went plus five that turn. They draw Aqua Dolphin. And then they said you're free and your hairline's bad. Sheesh. I personally would not be taking that right now. But on to the next game. We're going to see Jib go first. We got Imperm Talents, Alamace, Connector, and I mean, Rick. Richard Itoro, Richard Ditto, yep, and then they got Impulse, Rota, Nib, Kurikara, and Rescue. Okay, I doubt this will be very good though. Um, they do have Impulse, so they have Double Hand Trap, another going second card, they have a Starter. This card is not very good here. You're pretty much going to have like one of those at least in every hand it feels like, where you're going to have like a semi-awkward Rescue Ace Speller Trap in your hand. But they're going to go Normal Summon Connector, Effect, Chain Impulse. That's going to bring out Fire Engine. Yeah, oh, I guess that's fair because then the Connector has to resolve the special. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this also has to summon a defense. Won't matter, though. Bring out Fire Engine and then Fire Engine Effect. This only summons level 4 or lower, though. So they're going to bring out Airlifter and then Airlifter Effect to go search. Okay, so this is just setting up to have, like, a bunch of follow-up, I guess. Mm, I guess... Maybe they think Nib is really just enough to like hold the opponent back. And maybe there's like a threat of another monster in hand, but like Aqua Dolphin shows everything in a second anyways. I don't know, it's it's just so weird. Maybe you could have gone for like the Book of Moon instead. Instead of Fire Engine and then just like straight try to interrupt the opponent and like Book of Moon the Aqua Dolphin. But I don't know, even that doesn't seem that good. But I guess, like, a quick play, like, Book of Moon from the hand is, like, one of the best things you're really going to get against Connector. 
Um, also, I need to read this card. I just realized that. Uh, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can equip one Infernoble Arms Equip Spell from your deck or graveyard to one appropriate monster you control except for one Infernoble Arms this card. And then destroy this card. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard because the Equip Monster is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your Fire Warrior Monsters that's banished or in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use each effect of that once per turn. Boom. Well, you can only use, like, one of the effects of that once per turn. And then, okay. Aqua Dolphin, discard, look at the hand. They said, GG, question mark? So they're going to take 500, now they're going to go Talons. Rip the nib. <laughs> uh, I wonder how well the deck does against Curry Kara. Well, okay, it's like a known Curry Kara is so much worse than an unknown Curry Kara. But I wonder how they would do against it in like a different spot. They didn't know about it. Uh, so they're going to activate and then bring out Durendal, destroy that. Durendal effect now, go search Ogier and then destroy that. Um, what? Oh, I should have also read over this card, because I also just didn't know what this card did. Why am I forgetting to read over so many of these? You can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, especially when one level 4 or lower fire warrior monster from your hand as a tuner. Then, if this card is no more summon a special summon, you can target one level 4 or lower fire warrior monster in your graveyard, except for another copy of itself, special summon it, but you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn, except for warrior monsters, and you can only use one effect of that per turn. Okay, so, banish, summon OGR, now it's a tuner, effect to go dump, and then that's going to dump the Oliver... Uh, use those, go into a sold, uh, sold effect, go ahead, grab Gear Free, dump Phoenix Blade, bring out Renaud, Renaud effect, grab back Oliver, yeah, I guess we really just ripped the Curry Kara, yep, bring out Aqua Dolphin, can we banish for Phoenix Blade, maybe, um, I guess we just discard the, the Gear Free that was there for follow-up to go ahead, just rip Curry Kara, Burn for five, Phoenix Blade, Banish, add back. Okay, activate Oliver, special summon by discarding. Use those to go into this. Wait, okay. Okay, and then this card says, uh, if this card, oh, this is like the broken one. This card says, if this card is special, you can add one horn of Oliphant or one card that mentions Infernoble Knight, uh, Emperor Charles from the deck to the hand, and then if. Or, or should I say, when a card or effect is activated that targets this card, or when this card is targeted for an attack, quick effect, you can send one fire warrior monster from the deck to the graveyard, and if you do, banish this card until the end phase, then you can special summon one roll-in monster from your deck or extra deck, and you can only use each effect of this once per turn. So they're going to bring that out, effect, go search for a museum, and then activate, pay 1,200, and then go search for the joy use. And then, okay, this card says you can target one fire in your graveyard, add the hand, and destroy this. Okay, yeah, this is this one's been out for a while, I'm pretty sure. Um, They're going to go Oliver, target, and then chain its effect because it was targeted for an effect. So now they're going to go ahead and dump and then special. So they're going to dump the Turpin. This card says while this card is an equip spell, the equip monster is... Wait, if the equip monster is used as a sync material, you can treat it as a tuner, Okay. I like all these extra tuner cards, or things that make things tuners. Uh, you can only use the following effects this once per turn. If you control a monster with, uh, if you control a monster equipped with an equip spell, you can special you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. But if it's summoned from the graveyard, banish it when it leaves the field. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one warrior monster control. Equip this card to it. Equip that. Wait. Equip this card to that monster you control. Okay. Man, I cannot read. Bring out Roland. Uh, this only gets it if it's synchro, and then this only specials. Okay, so they won't get that. Activate the Joyous, and then activate... I'm confused. Wait. If you can special summon it... Oh. Oh. Okay. And then... Wait, so why did this leave then? Oh, we just used its effect then to add back. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, synchro those into the Charles, and then roll an effect to equip, effect the pop, and then turn that into the Link 1. This card is crazy. Okay, this card's name is Charlie Magn. Uh, so it's a Link 1, takes one Emperor Charles with an equip card, and then if this card's Link Summon, you can target one Infernoble Knight Emperor Charles in the graveyard. This card's name becomes that monster's original name, and replace this effect with that monster's original effects. Then equip it to this card as an equip spell that gives it 500 attack. Once per turn when a spell or a trap card is activated, quick effect, you can send one equip spell from your hand or face up on the field to the graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. 
So now they're going to go effect, copy, and equip it. And then they're going to go activate museum to special summon it out. And then special summon out rolling from the hand. Uh, use those, go in the baron. Baron effect, pop their monster. Oliver effect to equip to the Charlie. And then set imperm. End phase, you know, because it just copies that effect, we're going to get Charles. So we're going to equip, equip, bring back out Angelica. Pass, they draw turbulence. See, see, I said Angelica, right? I knew I could do it. But okay, now they're going to go activate Rota. So they need to play through a negate, spell trap negate, a pop, an imperm, a follow up. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, that, I mean, that's still a lot. It's like four interruptions. Through, I guess they didn't even really get hit with an interruption. They just kind of had to, like, break some cards on the field. They're going to Rota for Impulse. Activate Rescue to add back the Airlifter. Wait, it's specials? No, definitely only adds back. Okay, so they're just going to add it back in the normal. Effect, Chain Imperm, and then Chain Emergency to try to dodge it. Because you can Special and then Tribute the Airlifter off the field. They're going to chain to send to negate, and then they're going to activate impulse. We're going to baron negate it. Okay, so then, yeah, we're going to send the Almus. Okay. Um, it discards into graveyard because the equip monster sends to graveyard. Yeah, we don't get those. Yeah, we definitely don't get that effect there. Yeah, so we're not supposed to get to add that back. We're only supposed to get it if the link monster goes to grave. Now they're going to go Turbulence, try to banish, and Special Summon out. And then they're just going to activate Roll and Effect to equip, and then Effect the Pop, because, you know, it's still just Charles, so it has, like, the Interruption that Charles gives it, the follow-up that Charles gives it, and then the Interruption from itself being a Link. It's it's kind of crazy. I don't know. But also, you know, Infernobles is still going to have, like, the downside that it had before, where, like, going second can still be tough. Uh, there's other ways to play this deck too. I haven't looked into it like that much. I'm kind of focusing on some of the other, I'm focusing on like more of the new, new decks more. Um, because something like this, I, I can pick up on a lot quicker just cause like the engine, I already know how to play a lot of it. It's obviously going to be different than it used to be without the Hulk and Link Cross and everything, but it shouldn't be that hard to pick up on. I see the Revolution Synchron. All that card's bonkers. Connector plus Revolution Synchron. FTK. FTK. Uh, the match was only about 20 minutes long. Yeah, it was a pretty quick match. Um, But I definitely want to show off Rescue Ace. People are really hyped about that deck and want to play it. And it's another like control type deck. And I know a lot of people picked up the deck a while ago for super cheap and want to try it out with a new support. Because they get the emergency, this card's bonkers, and they also get the Book of Moon, which can be pretty good, especially if we're still in like cash format. Uh, it gives your deck like three like Tackle Crusader or hand traps, um, and then Infernal Knight. People have also been talking about this deck, not that much, but I think people will start talking about it more soon. Uh, yeah, now that like Nationals is everything and over, Dune's gonna be starting to get more and more popular. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.